Good evening, everybody. This is Johnny Seville from Acorn Wealth. This is Executive Summary Time. All right, so once again, the S&P has failed to break the open range, but still the bias to the upside. Uh, money flow not showing us much. Uh, as we can see, the money flow is still turning kind of uh, downwards here on the right side of the chart. Uh, Dow Jones Global Index, however, has uh, continued to show its uh, resilience and bullish nature, uh, pulling back to its breakout point and rallying upwards. So um, still at this moment, we're looking to the uh, long side, in my opinion, and uh, a lot of the um, uh, positions we found today um, uh, are kind of a combination of both, but still with a bias to the upside. Um, the first of which was CRCM. Now, uh, this stock had had a, uh, a fairly significant um, uh, setup here, it has uh, significant insider buying. Um, it doesn't report earnings till May 12th, and it also has a 15% short. So just to show you some of that insider buying here, I'll bring that screen over. And uh, this is from the institutional side of things. You can see that uh, in in February, we basically had broad-based buying from uh, a wide range of uh, institutional ownerships, so um, all within the same kind of time frame. So this bodes well uh, for the stock's recovery. This was right around uh, February 17th and the end of March, most recently. And if you look around where fe where it was in February, we're actually closer to the $8 mark, and we're since uh, pulled back now down to the $6.77 mark. Um, now this is the same place where we had major institutional, uh, major algorithmic buying, or the smart money level, where we bounced from 650 up to a high of uh, 777 in one day. Now we're around those same levels and you can see that the uh, basically the volume today went from 93,000 yesterday to 748,000 today. Uh, so I'm looking at this as a long at these current prices uh, up to um, uh, up to firstly this kind of 740 zone which gives us a, a short-term uh, pop but I think the real target here is actually looking for a rally up into these levels, up into these uh, previous highs right around $7.68. So we're looking at about a, uh, uh, close to a 70 cent rally from the current prices is what I'm looking for. And uh, if this can, if this can break through and actually get above this trend line, which you can see intact, then we could actually be looking at something uh, a lot more exciting. So uh, we will we'll reevaluate it as it gets uh, closer to the target. But I think there's, this is good for at least a 10% pop on CRM. Uh, uh, excuse me, CRCM. Okay, next. VVUS. Now this is also quite exciting uh, because uh, VVUS is another stock that uh, had a, a fairly significant short float. If we have a look at how that's been setting up, uh, VVUS is not reporting till May 26th. It's got 34% short float and uh, and has some interesting insider action as well. Before we go to that, you can see this has a, a lovely kind of scoop drop. It's one of my favorite patterns. And uh, it had uh, went up on 1.5 million shares yesterday, pulled back only on half that, about 750,000 shares, right to support. Um, and I think that this is an easy pop uh, up towards just shy of the $3 mark. So that would be... Um, about 50 cents or about 20% on the stock. Uh, so I think that's a uh, quite a, a likely candidate for a rally. Now when we go to the insider trading, here's what I found specifically interesting is that when you have a look at the insider buying, you'll see major buying from uh, this uh, individual Conan Lachlan. Okay, so there it is. And what's interesting is you have a look at Mr. Lachlan's uh, uh, previous history. We can go back and see what are some of the other transactions he's been involved in. Does this guy have a, a good track record in terms of his recent buys and sells? So we can go and have a look at, for example, his purchase on Almost Family back in the beginning of May 2014. AFAM. Um, because he's one of the big buyers recently. So does he know what he's doing? Let's go back to AFAM. Let's have a look at the 1st of May. And we'll go back, uh, let's go back here, uh, one year, six months. Okay, and so there's the 1st of May. I don't know, what do you think? Did he buy at a good time? I'd say so. Uh, buying down around $22, currently they're now up to 48 bucks. I'd say the guy knew what he was doing around that point in time. Uh, let's have a look at another one of the buyers. Let's have a look at uh, uh, AMED, a buy around a similar time, around the 2nd of May. Okay, so let's bring that one up. 
AMED. What do you reckon? You think he knew what he was doing here? So when I start to see this type of a track record uh, of buying these types of companies, I start to get excited. And this is what we came across uh, just around the market close of today. Now, um, they've just been awarded, just, it was just announced about half an hour after market close, that they've also been awarded two patents in the US for one of their weight loss drugs, uh, VVUS. So uh, this could be explosive, and if you can catch it in the early market, uh, not too much more expensive than it currently is, this could be set for a big rally, and this could be a continuation um, all the way up, and certainly if it starts to break these resistance levels, uh, VVUS could be one, could be a big winner. Uh, this has a history of very dramatic price movement, and has been as high as uh, as uh, thirty two dollars um, or close to in recent times. So um, uh, this kind of sandwich of moving averages can mean that uh, the short float could get a dramatic squeeze and this could be a big rally and one uh, with some momentum that may be worth holding. So um, this could be the immediate pop, but this could actually be one that we could look to play for quite a while yet and hold on to. Now, um, to, to, to move over to the energy sector, there was a couple of stocks that uh, looked quite good. Uh, these are fairly speculative plays, but the first one was Gas Star Exploration. Great money fly divergence. If you look at the way the stock has just been falling and falling and falling, but more and more accumulation coming from the money flow. Uh, this broke out. Uh, of its uh, resistance here, uh, trading uh, 1.24 million shares yesterday, over 592,000 the day before. And it also broke out of this resistance, uh, going from 859,000 to 1.6 million. So every time breaking out, it's doubling or tripling the volume, basically. And uh, that's fairly exciting. So uh, I think that this is also going to be a, a, a fairly decent play for a rally up from where we're currently at at 350, or a break just of today's high, um, to rally up to these levels, looking around, uh, firstly, this resistance level just under 4 bucks, so around 396. Uh, but again, possibly even higher. But that would be my first target until we uh, re-examine. And the other one was GRH. GRH also kind of a, this is a very speculative stock, but again you can see this uh, beautiful money flow, uh, nice accumulation, uh, moving against the grain with many energy stocks kind of in the, uh, in the tank or turning around over the last few days. This has not been, and you can see that's also breaking through. So um, if we can see a, um, if we can see, we're currently at 95 cents, if we can see a break of this resistance, which you can see is right around that psycho psychological barrier of a dollar. So if we can break, say, 103, I think we see ourselves uh, filling up to this previous resistance point around uh, $1.40, which would be, a uh, again, about a 40% rally from wh where we're currently at, uh, or 40% rally. Now, those are two energy stocks. So if you were concerned about the risk of the energy sector, we can always look to hedge it against uh, two shorts on st all stocks that are also in the energy sector. Uh, Cross Timbers Royalty Trust, for example, has shown some strength, but unlike those previous two stocks, it's starting to look toppy and it's heading into resistance. So somewhere around 20, 20, 22 30 up to $23, this could be a, a short candidate uh, for a reversal play uh, back down towards the uh, $21 price range down, or even down as low as $20.50. Uh, $20. So that would be 10% on the downside that if the market, if the energy sector did really b badly tank, you could pick up the 10% profit on that uh, while well, hopefully not l losing as much on those stronger longs we just looked at. The other one was HGT, and um, this is something that uh, has uh, definitely broken down, and so this could be a, 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 a looking for a short if it was to rally back up into this area around 543, or just a continuation breaking the low of today. And this could uh, sink uh, basically as low as 450. It's got a very sharp decline at the moment with money flow f uh, losing support. So there's your trade ideas for tomorrow. Um, two hedge plays on energy, as well as the two plays on CR CRCM and VVUS. Uh, hopefully that helps, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all in the next executive summary. Have a great night, and take care.